We celebrate it with ceremonies like the far swirling of the fireballs in Stonehaven, like the festive Kaylee dancing, and the traditional toasting and singing to Robbie, Robbie Burns' old land sign. In the Philippines, where I originally come from, we start the year literally with a bang. Days before the New Year's Eve, frisky, festive firecrackers line the sidewalks for sale, and the vendors blare out their colorful, garish trumpets we call tarotot as they swing round and round their wooden rickety rattlers, making a sound like a child running a stick along a railing. Anything to make a noise. We believe as Filipinos that the noise and the noise make the make ward off the evil around us. Well, my grandmother has a very quirky way of celebrating the new year. When we were children, we were told to always wear something with polka dots or circles or round figures. And she insists that the table be lined with uh, 12 round different fruits that are round, such as apples and oranges and our local rambutans and lanzones. 12 signifying the 12 months of the coming year and the round figures signifying prosperity. So if you adhere to that, then for the next 12 months of the coming year, you'll be prosperous and you'll be rich. She also told us that if at the stroke of midnight, all the children would have to jump 12 times. And the higher you jump, the taller you grow for the following year. Of course, the boys make it out as a competition because everybody wanted to be a basketball superstar. Basketball in the Philippines is re revered as much as uh, football here in Scotland. So they really make it out as a competition as well the girls just do it for the fun of it. My grandmother also insisted that all the doors and all the windows are wildly, widely open to bring out the bountiful new year and to, and to enlighten everything and so that all the blessings would come inside in the house. The night crescendos to a deafening loudness brought about by the firecrackers, the banners, and the clashing of the pots and pans like cymbals and the blaring of the trumpets and the car horn like bugles in reveille. Then all of a sudden, at quarter past midnight, everything stands still. It was as if a conductor of an orchestra enters in and silences everything. And then afterwards, it builds again. And now it comes to a crescendo of human voices as the family gathers in the festive dinner table to celebrate what we call media noche. The, the main, the family father, like the father, comes in and, and says the thanksgiving for the, for the evening and toasts for the new year, for the hopes and the dreams of the family. Now one particular new year, my father decided that he was going to be creative and different. Instead of just purchasing the firecrackers, he's going to make one out of bamboo. He made a cannon out of bamboo. And he, he commanded that in a booming voice, just as when he was about to light the, the, the wick of the cannon with a candle, he says, stand back, for this is the job for the expert. But as has he, the candle touched the wick of that cannon, it made a horrific bang all of a sudden, he was covered in black powder. It was hysterical, straight out of an old Laura and Hardy film. But we dared not laugh, not even a giggle. And now comes my mother from the porch screaming, Papi, Papi, what happened? It was watching, like watching a Spanish telenovela. Needless to say, my father was fine. I think it was just his pride that was hurt. Well, New Year's come and New Year's go. 
but memories remain. And these are the memories that I cherish from the past new years that we've had. And these memories have taught me that it is not the polka dots that will bring, make me prosperous. It is the precious time that I share with the people that I love. It is not the firecrackers that will ward the evil away. It is the faith to a personal God who delivers us from all evil. And it is not the opening of wide doors and, and opening the windows, but it is an open mind and an open heart to see the beauty and the goodness in every man. With this, I sincerely wish everyone a happy and a prosperous new year.